What's up guys, thanks for tuning in to another video. So today is gonna be a little bit different. It's not, well, it's not car related, but it is overlanding related or camping related or adventure related. And with that being said, all these containers and stuff in the back here, that's everything I take typically other than just food and water, uh, not on here, but typically this is what I take uh, whenever I uh, start planning for a trip. So, and let me show you what I take with me overlanding or four by four or camping. We'll start with the bins first and foremost. This is bin number one. This one is my tool bin. This sucker is very heavy. As you guys can see, everything is pretty organized. Uh, we'll, we'll go ahead and pull some stuff out. Uh, impact sockets, don't know if I ever need them, but I do. Don't know if I ever need them, but I have them. We have a general little tackle box with screwdriver sockets, um, pliers, uh, cutters, and box cutters. And we have a general basic tools. We have some PV blaster from our good friends at PV Blaster. We have a torque wrench. We have a bunch of nuts and screws. A lot of them have to do with uh, the roof rack, but you never know where you might need any. We have some torque bit sockets. We have some more uh, nuts and bolts and allen wrenches here. Then we have a white box. So uh, I'll kind of give you guys let you know these boxes are from Costco. They're like seven bucks. These are like ten bucks for uh, for a set of five, I believe, or three. We got some, a wrench set. We got a ratcheting red set. We have a. Um, plug set so if we get a flat or we get a nail or whatever we got a hammer some double sided tape just laying around we have a step drill set bit set we have a long uh, breaker bar we do have a big machete here too Here's our other box in here. We have some uh, assorted amount, assorted uh, fuses. We have gloves, working gloves. We have open wrench set here. We got a bunch of zip ties, some um, hooks. Yeah, it's a bunch of zip ties, some heat shrink, some more nuts and bolts some clips, some panel removals, some real basic stuff here. And my other container that we have in here, we have an Allen wrench set, we have some uh, JB Weld, we have a tr uh, aluminum, sorry, a magnetic tray with a blade inside of it. We have some transmission oil, we have some uh, power steering oil. Some, this is not for the Land Cruiser, but it's always helpful to carry some other one. Some more PB Blaster. Some uh, 
degreasing gunk wipes. Big shout outs to our friends at Gunk as well. Uh, some Loctite, a magnetic thing, some more wipes, and that's pretty much it. Bin number three, I really don't take the whole bin. I just, these are where I keep my uh, sleeping bags. The sleeping bags will just go in the vehicle, it makes it a lot easier than having to carry a whole bin. So I don't take this bin, I just take the sleeping bags. Bin number two, this is our kitchen. So we got a griddle, double sided. You've seen this in another video. Again, these small boxes are great from Costco. I, I believe there's a, a box, a uh, set of three for $10. Uh, it goes very well, <coughs> goes really well with these yellow containers. I'm gonna take everything out, but you kind of get an idea. Uh, citronella, candles, lights, uh, biodegradable trash bags, biodegradable uh, toilet paper, <coughs> fire starters, matches, batteries, biodegradable soap, uh, some shower patches, so if you want to clean up, big shout outs to our friends over our shower pouch, they always taking care of us. So that does this one. So this is kitchen and accessories, I guess you could call it. Then our second one here, this one has cups, a tea kettle, and, and one propane tank, and one propane tank. In between them, we have our uh, utensil sets, our cooking utensil sets. This is pretty cool. Um, you can get this on Amazon. If you guys care about uh, care to know the links, just let me know. I'll put the links in the description or in the comments. And obviously, it's very useful when it's all compact and in order. And I do carry an extra pan stick uh, uh, Teflon, so it makes it easier to cook eggs in. Uh, another propane tank. Aluminum, uh, aluminum uh, skewers or for, for, for marshmallows and s'mores. We have another one here. This has Salt and pepper, uh, we got canola oil spray, we have a lighter, we have some shot glasses, we got some tapatillo in here, and we do have some salt as well, and some cans of beans just in case. Our last bin here, we have a larger cutting board. We have all our utensils in here. And then, yeah, we gotta close that, but we got all our utensils in here. Uh, we got some extra rubber cups, another cup here. And we do have our plastic plates here and a smaller pan as well. And you can fit four of these like this and put this in the dead center with your pan like this. Put your can in there and you put your pan here and you cover it. Kitchen and kitchen and yeah, kitchen supplies here. So next I have a set of uh, front runner uh, containers. These, these things are awesome. You can stack them. They're great. You can actually put them on the roof rack and tie them down. So I really like these ones. Trash can, air mattress, air mattress, uh, compressor pump, batteries, and tent light. All stay in, in one container. Nothing too crazy. Now second container, this one includes 
little bit more stuff. Here we have our, our air compressor by Smitty Built. Here we have our high lift jack uh, tire uh, tire mount. Is that? I think that's what you call it. We have a we have straps. We have 15 uh, one by one, 15 inch straps in here, ratchet straps if needed by uh, Rhino. We also have a big recovery strap from Rhino as well. Uh, we also have D-rings, shackles from Rhino in here. And then we have our rear uh, hitch uh, mount or hook uh, for the rear, also from Rhino. And that's what we have in here, mainly just recovery stuff in this one. That's what, that's what I put in my uh, front runner containers. And to the right of the front runners, we have a two room insta shower utility shelter. If you need a tent uh, for, for bathroom, as you guys see at the toilet, I have a small um, table there too. But if you need a tent, or if you're taking family, or if you're taking your, your wife or yourself, or if you need just, you know, a good shower room this is great it's about 120 dollars uh, by Ozark Trail from um, Walmart it also has a changing room so you have the changing room you can walk into the changing room uh, undress go into the shower shower there or you can use the shower as a bathroom and, and the change room to the other side but very quick easy to install um, it pretty much sets up in a minute um, it's seven feet by three and a half feet so it's very very uh, very very good setup there i'll sh eventually i'll make a video on that larger aluminum table here this one it works really well i have i got it from amazon so i'm going to try to put as much of this stuff on my description below so you guys can buy it on my amazon store if you choose to we do have a set of leveling blocks um just in case we get in uh we're camping and it's uneven we don't have to look for rocks we have a set of leveling uh, blocks as well as far as keeping stuff fresh as far as food and drinks if I'm going by myself I typically take the TR 45 ice coat this is plenty for myself you know drinks waters uh, foods uh, stuff like that this does really well now if I'm going with uh, with a the co-pilot then typically I'll run all the food all the fresh stuff over there and then I, I do pick up I do run this lifetime um, ice chest which is a 28 liter i believe um and this one i'll just use just for drinks so usually i just take the ice cold tr45 everywhere which works perfectly fine and this one is a 67 can one and but if i'm running if i am going with a co-pilot then i go and also bring this one right here and on the land cruiser i do carry an axe i do carry a shovel I carry recovery boards. I also carry some rotor packs, fuel tanks, and a lift jack here. So that's what I carry on the vehicle as well. So that concludes this video of what do I take uh, for overlanding. Hopefully this is helpful. Hopefully you got some tips because I know a lot of these videos were very helpful when I was trying to figure out what is needed to go overlanding or camping or 4 x 4 um, at the same time. And so I looked at a lot of videos. At the end of the day, start off small. As you go, you'll start no knowing what you need and what you don't need, and what's um, even uh, useful for your for yourself and, and your for your rig. So, but this works really well. It stacks well, works really stacks well, and it makes it very very convenient. When I get back from overlanding, just clean the dirty stuff, clean it out, put it back, and store it in the garage, and that's pretty much it. So, this is my basic setup again, without including food uh, and water, but this is my basic setup so hopefully this is helpful again make sure to hit a subscribe and a thumbs up and uh yeah make sure to hit a comment maybe something that i'm missing and i don't have that you probably recommend or yeah just hit a comment uh just to appreciate it help the channel grow uh yeah catch you guys on the next video